Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning two new things that has to do with the lathe, basically. And first one is going to be setting up your plane to be a D and on the D and Z axis, and those will be your uh, lathe axis. D stands for the distance, and the Z stands for the basically the um, direction where you how you're machining your uh, lathe stock or your stock on the lathe. And the other one we're going to learn is setting up your uh, tool tools basically for the lathe. So let's get started on that to come down here to planes. Click on planes in the bottom right here in the status bar and this menu appears. Now you can notice there's lathe radius and then there's lathe diameter. We're going to choose lathe diameter. Diameter is the D and that stands for the diameter of the stock and then it's going to be in the Z axis as well. Those are going to be my two axes that we're going to be using in this tutorial. Now we're going to keep them in positive positive. As you can see you can choose negative positive positive negative and negative negative and that just tells it which quadrant you want it to be in in those axes. Now we're going to keep it positive positive to make it easy on us to choose the right dimensions throughout our tutorial and not have to change things just depending on what quadrant we have it in. It, w it gets a little bit confusing when you choose a little a different quadrant but uh, it, it can easily be fixed later on by choosing the correct quadrant but for now we're going to choose positive positive to get started on that. And as you can see right down here in the construction plane, C plane means construction plane. So D and Z, you can see plus D plus Z in here. And the top stands for the view. There, then there's a work coordinate system over here and to the top view as well. And then there's your G view is on top too. So everything is set to top. So you're viewing your, your part from the top. When you start construction your part, it's going to be the top view that you're seeing. So now let's go to settings. And let's go to toolbar states and we're going to learn our lathe tools now. Now click on lathe and as you can see here we have our solids toolbar settings uh, up. Now all you have to do is click on load and you see our tools now change. Now we're going to have all our lathe toolbars and we're going to need all of these uh, because we're going to be learning them throughout our entire tutorial. So as soon as you're done with that click on the check mark and there we go we're done with this lesson learning uh, those two new features.